that's cool. So uh, the next giant or controller is this one, and uh, um, we're just gonna do the same thing, basically. So let me think. The first thing we're gonna do is select the controller and select the joints. Then we want it to control, and then we're gonna open it in the hypershade. Let's drag it a bit down so we get a more a more nice overview. We're gonna make a multiply the out and we're gonna drag it the controller to the multiply the out We're gonna go to rotation and we're gonna go to input one x to x y to y z to z and then we're gonna change the the white number to 0 0.33 0 0.33 and then Oops, and the last one is of course going to be minus again, and then we're going to input this into the joints by the same method we used before. Well, I guess it's actually a good thing that we're going to repetition, make some repetition, because repetition is the mother of success. Um, so I hope you really understand how to do this now. At least I do. <laughs> so it's gonna be the last one. And now we have one problem with this, and I'm gonna show you how to fix this in a moment. There we go. Let's check it work if it works. Ah, come on. I get all nervous now. <laughs> and you can see it works just fine. cool so the problem is that now if we select the main controller um, it's kind of hard to see but all our controllers gets a little offset because these controllers are moving um, accordingly to this controller but you can see it much better here that the controller kind of get offset and we don't want that because the controller should fit where the joints are to give a nice uh, precise look so what we're gonna do is <coughs> we're gonna make a point constraint and if you hold over point constraint you can see down in uh, the left corner of the screen all the way down there comes up a small description um, and it says select one or, or more targets followed by the object to constrain so this means that we should uh, select the parent first and then the child afterwards which means we should select the joint first and then we select the controller we go to constrain point constrain option box and let's see if offset is if there's no offset we should be okay because it's on the exact same location so let's try and press apply okay and I think it worked yeah you can see now the controller is right on the spot so we need to do this for this for the other controllers as well or the only other controller actually I'm just gonna press apply. Let's check if it works. And normally you can't just put put the inputs right into uh, right into a controller. You can see over here we got some blue stuff, and you can animate it when you got some inputs. But it's okay in this case because we're not going to use the translate. We're only gonna use the rotation for these controllers. Um. So let's see if it works, if we select all the controllers, looks like it does. So this, this will give a nice uh, role on the character when he uses his spine. You can also use this uh, technique for tails and stuff like that. Uh, this controller, you can make a direct connection 
uh, in the hypershade so you can uh, select you can make uh, the rotation go directly into it it's uh, fast and it makes the rig so much faster but for now I'm just gonna make an orient constraint so I'm gonna select the controller first and then I'm gonna select the joint and then I'm gonna go to constraint orient option box and I think everything is fine so that it's not so let's uh, try I just uh, press Control c to go back let's try with maintain offset this is much better and you can see now the joints are following <coughs> so everything is fine and dandy but you can see this is not really following still so we will have to select this one this joint and select the controller go to constraint point and then we're fine again fine and dandy um, let me check how much time I used so I used 40 minutes okay so this is actually gone pretty quickly that's nice I uh, hope you understood most of it we, can, we got one last thing to do so the thing that I like is for the head that you can rotate it and you can move it um, and the way to do this is we're going to use an IK handle um, <coughs> sorry my uh, throat is a bit nasty today but uh, we're going to skeleton IK handle tool option box and I can never remember what what, uh, what of these I can handle have a, a pole vector because if you don't use the right one it will suddenly flip in your rig I think sometimes you can f you can select it back but it can also make some mistakes in your rig um, so let us just try try one out and uh, let's see if it's the right one I'm gonna select RP solver and I'm gonna select this joint the neck joint and I'm gonna go to the head so it's not gonna be a big a big IK chain or something like that and I'm just gonna see there should be some settings for the pool um, you know what I can't I can't remember <laughs> and I can't remember how to check it out. So let's just see how we did uh, previously on the leg. Um Oh sorry the foot because we made some on the foot that hadn't and it's the IKSC solver and what is this? It's the RP solver. So this is the wrong one. I'm gonna press delete and because I know that we made the, the right one uh, early on when we were making the foot so I guess I should really remember this SC solver is the one you want when you're not gonna have a have a controller for the twist so I'm gonna select the same joints as before gonna press enter and it's gonna be all fine so you can see now if you move this the head is going to move with it and also the rotation but 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 let let me show you how I'm going to do this I'm first going <laughs> to rename this one I'm going to call it neck middle 01 IK handle and this one this group should actually not have an L in it I'm just gonna move the IK handle up to the group and I'm gonna select the controller I'm gonna select the neck thing and I'm gonna make a point constraint then on the joints for the head I'm gonna oh sorry I'm gonna select the controller first then I'm gonna select the joints on the head and then I'm gonna make an orient constraint so 
if I move this around you can see that the head will follow and you can oops and you can rotate it everywhere you like oops so that's pretty cool that's the way I like to do it because you only got you want so few controller as possible to make it uh, look a bit more nice um, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make the hips and the hips are really easy <coughs> um, you're going to select the hip controller and then you're going to select the hip joint and then you're going to go to constraint parent constraint and that should actually do it you can see it does you're gonna do the same thing for the other leg parent and it's all fine the other legs move funny because it's not a uh, rig yet but it's the same rig anyway um, yeah and then that's it for the, the spine so the next part is going to be the arms and it's going to be awesome I can't wait um, I'm going to show you how you can make um, a IKFK switch and how you can it's uh, going to be a switch but you can also blend between them it should work in the animation as well <coughs> and um, I'm going to make controllers for each one of those now that I said it look it sounds very easy to do I'm not sure how long it will take so maybe we're gonna get to the hand in the same row but the hand is basically the same thing as we did with the spine it's really easy really easy to do a hand so you shouldn't uh, care too much about that um, and then I would like to say thank you for watching the tutorial I really hope you like it if you want me to go through anything send me an email I'm gonna pop it on the screen in the end I'd like to show you one last thing in the end um, if you go to my home page or the home page polyface.com you can see everything here and uh, if you go to for example a tutorial so let's say you want to learn about raking funny enough and you can see I did something new, I made a new box and I would really hope that you guys want to share the tutorials um, you can press like on Facebook and it will make a little link or you can tweet it or you can stump there's many many uh, sites you can do and you can also write a comment do whatever you want but it's really nice to know that people appreciate it and it's a way to show it and always as usual, I would like you to uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, basically, because you will see when the new videos come comes out, and that is really nice. And I can also kind of see how many is following me. So you, you basically just this is on Danish, but you can click up here, subscribe, and then you will be subscribed to the YouTube channel. Anyway, thanks a lot for listening to my voice again. I hope you learned some stuff and uh